trip, but I think the weather has scared some. So thank you. Thank you for your support. All right, that's very kind of you. Okay, so we would like the cell phones off or like on vibrate or however you do that because this is being recorded, okay, video. Does anyone have a problem of this being videotaped? No. no. Okay, excellent. All right. Sandra. Wait a minute. So today, what we're going to do, okay, um, this workshop is beauty tips and fashion. And it's giving by Sandra. So let's welcome Sandra. Woo Woo okay. So, all right, I'm going to take questions first because, like, after the workshop, I have to get right back to my desk. It's very important. So, what's your question, Mark? I don't have a question. I have two things. Uh, number one, if anybody who is visually impaired needs a uh, battery put in their watch, there's a jewelry. Store jewelry place up the street, and they're they're pretty decent prices. It's like Ross Diamond have batteries to place them for dollar four dollar street battery. Okay, so that's a good tip, right there, or if you're visually impaired, right? Yeah. That's all I can so any other questions? And I have one more. I have not really a, a question, but a suggestion. Uh huh. Have you made up your schedule for the new new? Um, uh, it's soon to close. Yes. Um, it's soon to close. So. Give well, it. I would like to see Sinhan come back. Would you? Yes. Who? Okay, Sinhan. Yes. All right, that's the transportation. That's uh, that's like Access Link. Who's that? Who's familiar with Sinhan here? Put their hand up. Okay, I see that uh, Joanne. And, and Darlene isn't here. It's just like access. Would you like to sit on that, Darlene and Joanne, if we yeah. have them back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I come. Okay, okay, very good, because there might be some changes. So besides that's, that. That's what I want to find out, because um, someone told me there were some changes to it. Well, good, we will definitely have them back. Let me put that down, Senhan, okay. I will have them back. And there's a lot of new consumers too, so they would probably appreciate that also, you know, very much, right? Yeah, and if there's anybody that's from Camden County, they yeah. also run a camp they have a Camden County division and a Burlington County division. Okay, okay. So that's very good. So thank you, Margaret, for that tip. Yeah. All right. So back to the workshop. We are doing today. All right, where's my pointer stick? It's not here, but besides, got my voice, right? Mm -hmm. Beauty tips and fashion, okay? So first, I took a few beauty tips that I like to learn from the class, and then you could learn from me, too, through research through the years, okay? So what are your beauty tips? Do you have any to share with the class? First, we'll put it that way. I don't. Darlene? I don't think I do either, to be honest. Donna? Maybe that's a quiet thought. Think about it right now. Okay. So nobody has. A, well, you all look beautiful today. You know. Right. That's important. Right, right, right. And the best beauty tip of all is what? What do you think to make a woman beautiful? Smile. From Annie, she just put on a smile, right? And, and you say really nice things mm -hmm. because you're beautiful on the inside and beautiful on the outside, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to say anything, right? But now we're talking of tangible things, right? And first of all, we're going to take the skin. Okay. Now, what do you think the best beauty tip is for the skin? Okay, Kristen. Hi. You going out? Nope, I'm going to sit in for about 45 minutes. Oh, okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, Kristen, sitting in, everybody knows Kristen. She's our Hello. staff member. Hi. Okay. Hi. All right. So what do, you, what do you think the best beauty tip is for the skin? The cleanser skin. Drink a lot of water. Cleanse and moisturize. Cleanse and moisturize. Drink Stay water. out of the sun. Stay out of the sun. That's good. I didn't think of that. Oh, absolutely. You Except know? for, you know, 15 minutes. 
feminist today. You still need a little bit of money. Yeah. Right. Oh, you need you need the sun. Why do we need the sun? Why do we need the sun? The, oh, what a smart class. We're already we're already there, right? <laughs> so I think they're all very good tips, but the best one is I like is what Darlene said to hydrate. Okay, because they always say that water is the staff of life, right? So you drink a lot of water, all right? Now, who drinks a lot of water here? <laughs> oh, look at that, Donna, Dardine, yeah. Roz. Did see a license on the floor? License? Um, I don't see one. I won't see that. Yeah, maybe in there. Here's one. Yeah. Yeah. So back to the beauty tip. Okay. So um, yeah, the water is very, very good, right? So somebody here then raise their hand and they don't drink enough water. I don't. I'm guilty of it myself. Okay. I'm very, very guilty of it. I don't like the taste of water. Uh, as you even get older. You have to drink water. We had a speaker in that like 70% of seniors are dehydrated. Wow. Isn't that terrible? Isn't that terrible? And if you're dehydrated, what can happen to you? Your body, your, your body could shrink. Right. So, I have to put it, go ahead, Kristen. Do you need, do you need more water? I would say everyone needs to be hydrated, but especially, why do you think seniors do not hydrate? Because they forget. <laughs> they forget. Yes. Or they have to go to the bathroom. Right, right. It's a choice of habit because they didn't drink it when they were younger. That's a good point. Aunt, she That's never it. drank water and she won't drink it now. Right. Right. So see, that's not good. That's not good, right? right? But with water, I did some research on it. And you wouldn't think so. But as long as it's a liquid, it's part water. <laughs> okay, sometimes it isn't good for you, but there's tea. There's, there's coffee. Someone said jello. Uh, there's your uh, flavored drinks, like your bottled water. Okay, who used bottled water here? Okay, what other water does everyone sitting here use? What do you use? Oh, what what water. do you use? Filter water. Filter. I would not. Mine is still too, from the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Well, see, that's good, because if you drink from the tap, you might have a foot growing out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Too many, too many uh, pesticides and, and stuff yes. that has, has gone into the into those waters to contaminate. Right. So it's no, it's not not any real, unless you go to some really remote place, uh, uh, natural springs. That's right. Uh, 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 the, all the tributaries uh, go into each other. That's right, right. And they, you know, if uh, we won't go, but that's good. But you could really study it on, you know, like online. Mm -hmm how bad and what they found in water. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you have to do your own homework like with that, right? Mm -hmm. So the filter and everything, I buy bottled water, you know, the 24. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I try because I'm on a budget and I try to buy the cheapest. But then sometime when I run out of water and I'm making coffee, I go, oh no, don't put that in the coffee pot. But it's going to sterilize it. That's yes. Going to sterilize That's it. right. I sterilized it yesterday with vinegar and water. And you know what? My coffee actually tastes better because of it. So you do have to be careful because caffeinated coffee dehydrates. Mm -hmm. I know. And I think that's what's wrong with me. 
<laughs> Goodbye, I'm passing away. No. No, but that's really true. That you know what? That's a good point. You know, because my math is like dry all the time, right? Uh, also, another beauty tip. What do you think another beauty tip is for that we all do? But you don't get enough of sometimes. Well, I don't get enough sleep. of it. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep. Okay? I'm an active person. Uh, I get up real early now since that time changed and I hate myself and I get up real early. I've watched a couple sunrises so far. <laughs> and I said, okay, Sandy, as I'm drinking my coffee, I go, you turned into mother. That's what you know? And I go, I guess this is a new stage in my life, right? And I go like the whole day. I run like the whole day. That's how active I am, right? But there is nothing when my mother-in-law taught me when my kids were growing up, which was good. And I used to get mad at her, but boy, did she have some wisdom there. She said to take a power nap, yeah. like a cat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, but a power nap. Only 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, but 20 to 30 minutes. That's right, Darlene, 20 to 30 minutes. That will make me mad. Huh? That will make me mad. <laughs> Uh, Once I go to sleep, I want to sleep till I wake up. And I want to wake up those 30 minutes. Right. I didn't have enough to sleep. Me too. But you will be surprised how rejuvenated you are in just that short period of time, though. Right. That's I the whole purpose they're trying to do. But it's hard to get up. Yeah, it's hard to get up. But you have that energy that you need to keep going. It takes me more than 30 minutes to even fall asleep. Me right. too. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Right. Me too. It right. I don't need well, I sleep like a baby because I run the RV knows I run the whole day. So when it comes time for Betty by, I mean, like, I, I look at the clock, I go, it's only 8.30. And I tell Kiri, the teenager, the family, I stay with, I go, Kiri, it's only 8.30. And she goes, well, maybe it's your Betty by time. <laughs> And everybody else is watching the late shows and on a computer, right? So you have to discipline your body with that, yeah. you know, with power naps. Maybe they won't be normal. Mm -hmm. But like someone said here, if I sleep, then I won't sleep at night. Yeah. Then the other person said that she wants to stay there. Well, I'm like her. If I sleep in the day, which is rare, okay, like I have a meeting tonight, okay? A uh, very important meeting I go to every Tuesday night. Well, I leave here like 4.30, and if I took a nap, guess what? No, I would want to stay there on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to make my, uh, you know, little snack of dinner and, like, get my mindset, maybe change. And I said, well, maybe I could just stay in that easy chair downstairs. If I stay in that bed upstairs, you know what's going to happen. They're all going to go, and I'm still going to be in the house going, <laughs> and then wake up like 8 o'clock, and everyone's gone, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it takes discipline, correct? Yeah. Right? Hard, yeah, yeah. All right, so now we're going into another beauty tip. Okay, see where I need water? I'm panting, right? <laughs> okay, another beauty tip is... Um, Looking at the class now, and I don't see any on anybody, but maybe it's on Kristen, unless that's Terrific. natural beauty. Okay, well, who wears lipstick they, here? Yes. I used to. I stopped because with oh, my God. vision loss, it, it was just people would tell me, "Oh, you have lipstick here." This was a mess, mm -hmm. so I stopped for that reason. Okay. I don't like the gloss. Yeah, I'll do lip gloss, but I won't do yeah. the lipstick. I do either the gloss or lip balm. Lip balm. And the clear. I Only time I use clear. clear. Okay. Only time I use it is like now if it's really dry and outside. Okay. Like in winter time I do because it's so dark. But right. Time, right. Sometimes I do the like the blush stuff where you can actually feel it because it's tingly. Mm -hmm. Like it has peppermint oil. Bird bees has peppermint oil. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can feel where it is on your on your lips because I'm usually like her too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So what do you have on right now? Or you use the different, what's suitable for your complexion? Yeah, yeah, Burt's Bees, I, I use the colored ones. Okay. Okay. Well, I have Burt's Bees on right now. 
uh, flavored uh, cherry. And that took me a long time to break away from my lipsticks because I'm a maniac, maniac, <laughs> I am. So, but it has saved me money. People have say, oh, your lips, they look nice because they look modest, mm -hmm. you know, they're not like all my, I had to wear a color for everything I wore. Now that oh, is wow. really obsession, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you could buy one, you know, uh, the Burt's Bees, like she said, and it's very, very good. And it gives you a little bit of color, okay. right? Okay. Okay. Now, um, who would like to wear lipstick or like Burt's Bee? I don't know. Okay, two. Anybody else over on this side? Okay. I don't wear lipstick. Not What's the other one? The chapstick? The, no, whatever you The Burt's Bee? Yeah, lip gloss. Lip gloss. Mm -hmm. You mean the Burt's Bee that we're talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you go in a drugstore, you would, okay, so. I didn't bring up any of my makeup with me because of um, hygiene, you know, like to show you. But I'm telling you, and you you could you could call me after the workshop if you need any tip, you know. But you could get it like in a drugstore, right? You could get it anywhere, Walmart or, or what. You go in there. Uh, if you need assistance or you're with a guide or somebody. Uh, they'll take you right there. Okay, so I'm going to help you because my mother was visually impaired. I said, how many people know that in here? Okay, my mother was uh, totally blind. Okay, impaired. All right, and I would watch her actually as a kid growing up with more lipstick and makeup, and she always looked good. Now you're in complete you know, be blind, okay? But that didn't stop mother from dialing up, okay? It runs in my family. Her mother, her, my older sister's 10 years old, older than me, and she still, you know, uh, looks nice every time you see her, right? Now, Kristen wears it, so Kristen, Tell us how you put it on because you're visually impaired at all. Um, I really don't do actual lipstick. It's more like a lip gloss. Right. And uh, yeah, it's just basically I just put a little bit on, kind of rub my lips together, and then with my fingers I'll just wipe the corners. Yes, yeah, just to make sure that you know if I put on too much, I wipe I wipe the edges off. Okay. So did everyone hear that? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is how she would do it, as I remember, okay? You would take your hand, and with your index finger, if you wanted to, okay? And you sit there or stand, however you want to do it, and find the outline of your lip. Because you can't see your lips. So find it. Now I'm using two fingers here for the visually impaired. Go around like that, right? Forget the pencil, you know, because there's a pencil. So you girls forget that. I mean, I could see and I'd kill myself with a pencil, okay? So, because I'm, I'm not steady, like with my hand, right? So just find it and be sure, like she said, you take your fingers and then you just kind of like blend it right a little bit, right? Now that's lip gloss. That's lip gloss, okay? And you could do it with the bird's feet because, see you can feel your lips right now. Everybody right. feel their lips meaning like, smack them. Margaret, yeah. <laughs> I hear you say she would do that too because sometimes she was a blonde, blue eyed blonde. Okay? And she would um, 